Hi, this is your Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot. Here to do another weekly energy update for the sign of Libra. Just keep in mind these are general readings, they're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Libra. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming true for you guys this week. We are in Libra season, so happy birthday to you guys. I hope all is well for you. Hmm, okay. So for some of you, all is not well. You may be having some financial crisis, some financial situations, and things may not be looking as great for you as you would like it to be. You are focused on one person in particular, though. You're focused on this person, and I'm not sure why yet, but it could be because you're trying to fix a relationship that went sour, or it could be someone new. But you did receive a message of some kind of concern that is causing you a lot of worry and anxiety when it comes to this person. It could do with a love connection, definitely. It could be a love connection with some of you. Um, and you received some disturbing message concerning someone that you're supposed to be in a relationship with. It could have to do with this person's job or something that they do while keeping themselves busy but I do see money coming into you very soon. Your luck is about to change as regards to your finances. And you're going to be gifted by the divine as regards to a love connection or a relationship. So you guys do have a lot to look forward for for your birthday in the upcoming days. So don't be despair. Things may not be looking the way you would like it to at this point in time. But... It's going to change. I know the energy for Libra has been really heavy for most of the year. But I do see things turning around for most of you guys. Alright, so... Yeah. Alright, let's see what's happening in the tarot. Let me see if I can dive deeper into this for you guys. Hmm. Alright, so at the bottom of the deck, you're not ready to take a chance on something. You're not ready to start something new with someone. So for some of you, you're trying to fix an old relationship because you're not trying to do the whole dating thing all over again. Mm. You're trying to get over a heartache. Your, your, your heart was broken and you're trying to heal from it. Could be with a Sagittarius. A Sagittarius could be involved. You could have this in your chart. But you do want healing, restoration, and reconciliation with someone. Because you're very unhappy without them. You don't feel stable without them. Um, the home situation may be in a little disarray at this point in time. And it's causing you a lot of stress. But you felt ultimately betrayed by this person at a point in time. So it's, it's like someone cheated on you and you found out about it. And you're trying to get over it. But there are two turns here. So there is something that is coming to an end. And a new beginning that is happening here. Now there is great potential in the situation and there will be a lot of passion here. All right. But for you, oh, okay, so this is what you want. You want this person to return to you and for you guys to have a passionate new beginning. You are willing to forgive them for whatever wrong they did in the past, however they betrayed you, however they broke your heart. But you can't seem to get the victory with this person that you're looking for. It's like the more you try is the more they pull away. For some of you, you could be married to this person. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, 
But this person is coming across as someone very stable, very grounded and very committed. They do care. Um, they are kind to you, but I think the love is missing in this relationship. And I think you do feel it. And you're trying to rekindle the love that you and, get, you and this person once had, but it's proving to be very difficult. Because it's like you want to get past the betrayal. It's just like, it, it's not happening, literally, for you. And you're questioning the connection, but somehow he is a Gemini you're connecting to. But you're questioning this relationship because for most of you, this relationship was karmic or is karmic. You were supposed to learn a lot of lessons from this person and you were supposed to have good potential within yourself to take you from one place to the other. So... You, you feel like this person is still sneaking around on you. So even though you're willing to forgive them, you still have that nagging feeling that even though if they aren't sneaking around on you, they, you still feel like they are going to. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with, Aries, Leo, or Sag, but this person had a lot of ins and outs. It could have happened to you um, multiple times. You could have found out that this person was unfaithful to you multiple times. But at this point in time, I don't see them being a player. I don't see them being back and forth. But you still can't find the reciprocation you're looking for from this person. So it's like they're not with anybody at this point in time, but they were with people before, right? But they're still not reciprocating you as regards to a love relationship or a love connection. It seems like there is no love here for you and this person. Mm -hmm. And you have tried everything to fix this relationship. You have pulled out all the stops. You have done everything you could do to get this person to fall back in love with you. But for some reason, you feel very despaired. Because you really don't want it to end. You don't want things to change. I could cry, guys. It could be a Scorpio some of you are dealing with. But it's like, you know, for those of you that this is your story, you're here and you want to cry because you do love this person. You're willing to forgive them for whatever they did in the past. But it's like they are no longer interested in healing the relationship with you. And this makes you really emotional. It makes you really emotional because you, you love this person. You want to be with this person. You're hoping that things will change. You're hoping that things will grow. You're hoping that, you know, things will return to the way that they were before. But I don't see it happening in the near future. The love that you both had for each other is like it's gone. could be a water sign you're connecting to Aries, Leo, or Sag, but this person is not expressing any love towards you. At a point in time, they may have loved you, but now they are using your emotions against you and manipulating you emotionally. Because you can't seem to find the truth as to if they are in a connection with someone at this point in time or not. And this is what is disturbing you greatly. Because you want to know. Yeah, but they are just playing it off cool, calm, and collective. So it makes you think like sometimes you're losing your mind. It makes you feel like, am I, am I being too harsh? Am I looking for something that is not there? Does this person really love me? Emotionally, this person has checked out. And for some of you, very soon, physically, they will move themselves away as well. Yeah. Because no matter how hard you try to communicate with this person, communication between you and this person is not happening. It's like they're not hearing anything you are saying to them. 
you're not trying to have quarrels and arguments with them. You try to avoid these as much as you can. But this person has checked out emotionally or it could be you. But I see you as seeing this person as your ultimate wish fulfillment. Could be an Aquarius you're dealing with. So I see them checking out of the relationship emotionally. Probably not physically, but emotionally. And you still hoping that things would change. But you're not communicating it to them. Because you see them as your ultimate wish fulfillment. You cannot see yourself with anybody else but them. But for some reason, they have checked out on the relationship emotionally. Yeah. But the truth of the matter is, is you're going to hold on to this connection. Until they could give you this again. Until they could give you a brand new beginning in love. Because you love them. There is no disputing that. There is a lot of despair in this reading. Uh, uh, it feels like... I'm tired, but I'm not giving up. This is my person, and it's going to work out eventually. But this relationship... When it dies completely, there is no coming back for it. Because this person is involved with someone else. Or they will be very soon. So for some of you, this person is not currently involved with anyone. But because they do not want a reconciliation with you... You are thinking that they have someone else. Now you are manifesting this into your reality. And it's coming. And this person will no longer be very quiet about anything that they are doing. It's like they are going to be very boisterous about everything that they are doing. Because like I said to you, they have already checked out emotionally. And they are going to walk away physically very soon. You are both on two different pages. You want to reconcile the relationship and they want to leave. Yeah. And you feel like there is nothing you can do about the situation. Your decision is yours, Libra. Their decision is theirs. You have a lot of regret about this relationship. You blame yourself a lot about things that happen between you and this person. And sometimes you feel like you could have done things differently. But if this person kept cheating on you, it's safe to say that the problem wasn't you. It was them. Sometimes some things are just meant to teach us lessons. What is the overall outcome for my Libras in this connection? Now you see this person to be very sexual. You actually love having sex with them. They can be very adventurous. And you're really into that sort of stuff. Who is it? Alright. But there is something that is going to be revealed to you very soon that is going to shock you. That is going to keep you stuck for a little while. Or something that was... that will be revealed to you that will make your heart drop. It will sink very low. It is going to cause you a challenge. So there are a lot of difficult days ahead in, for you in this relationship. But you're still hoping for romance. 
you're still hoping that this person is going to come back to you. Maybe they will. For some of you, they will. But you're waiting on them. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good one.